Hello everyone. Today we are going to uh, demonstrate the maximum power transform. So maximum power transform is uh, defined when the maximum power is transferred through the load in a circuit. Uh, when the resistance of the load is equal to the uh, source resistance. I have designed the circuit uh, which I am going to elaborate here. As you can see I have the AC source here. Then I have the source resistance. Then I have used the watt meter to measure power. Then I have used the load resistance. So when the source resistance will be equal to the load load resistance, then we can say the maximum power uh, maximum power is transferred to the load. My source resistance is here. This this is a real stat. I will keep this as a source resistance. Then I have the load resistance. This is a load in which uh, various lo uh, real stats uh, loads are connected. Now first of all, we will keep the some source resistance. As we know, uh, our source resistance should be equal to the load load resistance. Now we will check. How much is the source resistance? I will check the source resistance on this real stat because I have taken this as a source resistance. You see, our source resistance is almost 30.4 amp ohm. You can see the source resistance is our 30.4 ohm. We will take different load resistances here. First of all, we will see what will be the load resistance. You can uh, will note down it here. So, our source resistance is thirty point five ohm. Now we will take different load resistances, and we will note down here how much load resistance we are taking. You can see I will measure first what is the load resistance. These are the step step one. This means uh, at zero it is not connected. At one it is connected. So right now I have taken one, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 connections are there. Actually 10 rheostats are connected parallel. So at step first you can see the resistance is 121. So I will note down this, it is 121. When I will give the step 2, that means 2 rheostats have come into parallel. So this should be 121 and 121 connected parallel. So that will be half, oh, that will be 60 ohm. You can see 61. So R2 is 61 ohm because two rheostats parallel. Now I will connect three rheostats parallel. So you can see the resistance at R3 will be 40 ohm. Sim similarly, I will keep four rheostats. I will give fourth one that is 30.6 ohm. R5, I will check how much will be R5. That will be 24.8. 3 ohm. R6 will check that will be 20.8 ohm. R7 similarly that will be 18 ohm. Now we are saying we have the source resistance that is 30.5 ohm and at R4 it is 30.6 ohm. So that means when I will reach at R4 4 ohm at that time source resistance will be equal to the load resistance at that time maximum power should be delivered so we will do now practically when we will reach at r4 we'll see whether uh, at step 4 whether the maximum power will be delivered or not so i have switched on the supply you can see the voltage right now there is no load connected only the source resistance i will give step first you can see here the power is coming so at step first you can see almost uh, 275 watts are coming so at step first now the resistance at step first, you see at step first, the, our uh, load resistance is 120 ohm and source resistance is 30.5 30 ohm and you can see the power is almost 275 watts. Now at step second, you can see our source resistance, our source resistance is 30.5 ohm and now our load resistance is 61 ohm. You can see the power is almost it is, uh, 375 watts. You can see at step third. Our resistance is 40 ohm and our power is delivered 400 ohm. Now at step 4, that is where we have to look. That is when the source resistance will be equal to the load resistance. This is the step 4. So our source resistance is equal to the load resistance. So this will be the maximum power delivered. So our maximum power delivered is almost 420 watts. That is. So if I will give now the four, uh, fifth term resistance, that is 24.4 ohm. You can see uh, when I will give the 24.3 uh, 
3 ohm you see the power has gone down that means it is not the maximum power you can see the maximum power now if again i will increase the step you can see step 6 that is the resistance is 20.8 ohm the power maximum the power has gone down that is almost uh, below 400 uh, watts so this is where you can see when the source resistance so again we will go at step i, I will do steps 4 that is the maximum power is delivered when the source resistance is equal to the load resistance that is source resistance is 30.5 ohm and our load resistance is 30.5 ohm again we will check it whether the source resistance is equal to the load resistance i will switch it off and i will see the load resistance and source resistance again i will switch this on off and i will check the load resistance i will show you the load resistance whether the, what will be the load resistance and what will be the look at the load resistance you can see the load resistance look that is 32.6 ohm and our source resistance should be almost same that is almost 30 ohm so that is what we are we have proved here when the source resistance is equal to the load resistance so this will be the graph this will be the graph when we plot the graph between the power and the load you can see when the our source resistance is equal to the load resistance that is where we are getting the maximum power 